Okay, we are here. Uh, basically, this whole area is the Island View Storage Facility, IVS, Island View Storage Facility. It's one of the biggest chemical storage facility in the Southern Hemisphere. So here there is no refining. As you can see, there are no stacks, there are no chimneys. So basically, it's only storage, purely storage. So a um, lot of companies are storing the story, uh, storing the um, um, uh, uh, products here, such as your your petrol, diesel, jet fuel, and other you know uh, explosive um, uh, products. Uh, engine Sapref, they store the um, uh, refined products, final products such as petrol, diesel, jet fuel, uh, and gas as well. As you can see, no no chimneys, nothing. So companies such as um, Vopec, Engine, Sapref, uh, uh, I believe Sasol as well, and a host of other chemical industries, they are paying rents to use these as the as the storage facility to store the uh, uh, chemicals, the products. So basically these tanks, some of them, they are, um, are, are new tanks. As you can see, the ones that got a uh, floating lid, the floating, we call them the floating tanks. Those are pretty much new, but the old tanks, as you can see, those rusty tanks, those are old tanks, they are rotting, uh, hopefully. They will maintain them because they need to keep to the standard, the world international standard in terms of having, uh, you know, the right products. So as you can see, and then basically uh, the Island View Storage Facility is huge. It's huge. It's big. It's massive. So this is just a small portion of the Island View Storage Facility. The bigger portion is on the other side. It's huge. It's massive. Where you see those white tanks over there. It even goes beyond that area you know it's massive it's huge so I always perceive this area is about probably about 20% of the storage facility from here all the way that side and that way but the bigger portion the 80% of the storage facility it goes all the way that side so mostly the communities of this area, Finland, they complain about um, uh, chemical toxic smell whenever these industries, whenever they are tankers, you know, the trucks that are carrying these products, you know, whenever they loading products or offloading. For example, that's a loading bay over there. The tanks will go underneath the shelter and then they will connect the pipes and they will load the product. And that is where these uh, fugitive emissions, these products, you know, these uh, chemicals, the strong chemicals are then released into the atmosphere. And then it affects all these communities because they have to breed these products. So it's not like your engine, your subref, where they release the chemical products they, uh, through the stacks. But these guys here, uh, these, uh, the, 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 this, um, I mean, this facility release these products through when uh, the, um, uh, they are loading or offloading from their tankers. So, basically, it's adjacent to the Deben uh, Harbor. As you can see, the, the vessels over there, that's the Deben Harbor. So it's adjacent to the harbor because there's a lot of activities and connection that is happening between the storage facility as well as the harbor. So there's a lot of products that are, are, are coming through, uh, are coming through uh, the water, I mean through the, through the vessels and they get loaded through pipes into the into the into 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 the island view storage facility and there's also a lot of products as well that are loaded into the vessels yeah so basically that's the storage facility so we like this area because it gives us an opportunity to be able to look at some area of the storage facility as much as uh, you know the bigger portion is on the other side unfortunately there is no uh, place where we can uh, actually have a clear aerial view to see the uh, the, the whole storage facility but here 
the explosion there was an explosion that took uh, took uh, that happened i think it was around uh, about 2006 if not 1996 i'm not sure, too sure of the date but it happened in 1996 if not 2006 where about six to eight tanks of this size exploded because apparently they said it was lightning of which we always uh, know the excuse of industries they always blame the lightning or they blame a careless employee that died in the process when uh, this explosion happened because they know that the death cannot defend or or, or, or talk for themselves you know so app apparently then uh, some of the tanks uh, uh, were bent uh, were bent into the bent into the ground yeah so they still they still uh, operation uh, operating under the, uh, the, the apartheid laws the national key points act so for you for us as as, as as an, uh, as an uh, environmental uh, justice and human rights organization for us whenever we have meetings uh, with different companies within the island view storage facility we need to send our identification they need to screen us if we are not terrorists we don't have criminal records because the, the you know the security uh, the security within the island view storage facility is still very tight compared to the industries that are refining these products yeah thank you